Hey you guys, Uncle Jesse here. I wanted to start up a tech Tuesday. I know this isn't a new concept or anything like that, but I wanted to start making some videos around tech that's not necessarily 3D printing related that I'm getting my hands on and that I can share with you guys. This might be Kickstarter projects, it might be stuff that I've just picked up and purchased, but just in general, there are some cool things out there that I wanted to share with you guys. This first one that I want to start things off with is 3D printing related, and I think it's absolutely amazing. So the folks over at Wham Bam, that's right, the folks that make those amazing flexible build plates have now just recently released their slap mats. These are mats that you can use for resin 3D printing to help contain the mess that's involved with resin 3D printing and help with the cleanup process that's involved with that. I believe they announced these over at the East Coast Rep Rap Fest and I saw a note that they'd quickly sold out of them. I made a pre-order purchase of these just a handful of weeks ago. I believe the normal price is one for $20 or three for $45. They're currently on sale. It's the same price that I paid for them. I think I got three for 40 bucks and I can't remember if I had to pay for shipping or not or if that was included, but these things are ridiculous cool. They're about 19 and a half inches long by nine and a half inches wide. They are made out of silicone, very durable. They seem very nicely made and they really do work very nicely. Before I ordered the slap mat, I was using lunch trays and those have worked okay. The problem with that was really around the cleanup process. There's lots of nooks and crannies and grooves and it was hard to get the resin out. So I was always constantly laying down paper towels and then putting my prints on there getting them cleaned up and then trying to throw out the paper towels. I can still do the paper towel process on this or I can just go directly onto the mat itself. And so far it's worked really, really great. I can also, once the resin is on the mat, instead of wiping it up with a paper cloth or paper towel and isopropanol alcohol to help clean it up, I can actually just sit the mat directly in the sun and it will cure the resin and then I can just flex it right off, which is really, really cool. All right, here it is. I had this sitting in the sun for about 15 minutes. As you see here, it didn't fully cure all the way through, but this big portion here on the top cured and I'm able to throw that out. Here I can go and stick this back in the sun or I can use some IPA and some paper towels to clean up the rest of the residue that's left on this mat. It's also still big enough that I could put a resin 3D printer like the Anycubic Photon or the Elgu Mars directly on the mat and still have enough play area for my prints that I'm pulling off of the build plate. One thing that I would love to see the Wham Bam guys do is actually make a double wide version of this. So I think the length of this is absolutely perfect. What I would love to see though is maybe an 18 inches wide version of this or at least slightly larger in width version of the silicone mat. I think that would be perfect for my needs and my table because these are great to go directly underneath my printers. And I think I will be using these directly underneath some of those smaller printers. However, on my workbench here, I would actually love a much larger version of this to work with. I think that'll just make the whole cleanup process for me a little bit easier, especially now that I'm working with those two monster resin 3D printers behind me. By the way, if you're interested in some of the prints that I'm working on on the Frozen Transform or the Piopoli Phenom, make sure to follow me over on Instagram where you can check out some of the posts that I have on some of those upcoming builds. If you're interested in picking up one of these for yourself, I have a link down below where you can check it out for yourself. Wham Bam did not send this to me. I bought this with my own money. I was very interested in this and I think it's a great product. The whole point of these Tech Tuesday videos is for me to make some relatively quick videos for you guys on cool stuff that I think you might be interested in because if I'm interested in it, more than likely some of you out there are also interested in these things. Hey, thanks again for watching you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye now.